Hello, my name is Jason, and in this video, I will be talking about our paper, Reinforcement Learning for Safety Critical Control Under Model Uncertainty Using Control Lyapunov Functions and Control Barrier Functions. Model uncertainty is present in all kinds of systems from ground and aerial vehicles to legged robots. In this work, we deal more closely with legged robots, which suffer from many kinds of model uncertainty. This is why you assume that the model that we have is different from the true plant dynamics. We consider control of fine systems and we will deal with model uncertainty reflected in the vector fields F and G. In this video, you can see a Lyapunov-based controller failing to stabilize a five-link walker due to model uncertainty. Here, the model used has wrong values of the masses and inertias of the links. With our approach, we are able to learn this model uncertainty and obtain a stabilizing controller. This is the framework of our work. It consists of a mineral optimization problem that is solved online, which includes stability and safety constraints. But these constraints depend on the dynamics of the system. That is why we need to learn the model uncertainty terms and use them to create estimates of true stability and safety constraints. These constraints are based on control Lyapunov functions and control barrier functions. The CLF constraint guarantees that the input obtained from the optimization problem will exponentially stabilize the system. In contrast, with the CBF constraints, we guarantee set invariance and therefore safety. However, this formulation of CBF can only be used to enforce safety constraints in which the input appears at the first time derivative. We call this having relative degree one. For many applications, this formulation is not enough and we need to extend it to higher relative degrees. Here we can see how the safety constraint looks for a general relative degree RB. We now integrate these constraints in the mean neural optimization problem. We relax the CLF constraint to give preference to safety over stability in case of conflict. And this is the final form of the mean neural optimization problem, which solves for a virtual control input of a feedback input output linearization controller. But as we have said before, these constraints depend on the system dynamics F and G. So if our model is wrong, this constraint will not manage to stabilize and keep the system safe. And now I'd like to hand over to Fernando. Thanks, Jason. We can actually express the true V dot as a sum of a model derived term expressed with a tilde and this control affine term with uncertainties delta one and delta two. Our objective is to build an estimator V dot hat by learning the functions alpha theta and beta theta. For that purpose, we will use this least squares loss. And by minimizing it, we will make the estimate of V dot close to the true value of the derivative. For the R's derivative of the CBF, we follow exactly the same approach. Since the true value of the derivative is again a sum of a model derived term and uncertainty terms. So we build an estimator of the true derivative of these four and use again a least squares loss function. We can actually follow this same procedure for any other control affine constraint that depends on the dynamics of the system. The values of V dot and BRB in the loss functions are obtained through numerical differentiation. We can then do a weighted sum of those loss functions and use it as a reward function for our reinforcement learning problem. We add a failure case penalty to make the training more stable. After learning the mentioned estimates, we can solve online the modified mean norm quadratic problem that solves for the input output linearization control input mu. These AC theta and BC theta are estimates of other constraints that depend on the dynamics. So in the framework that we showed before, this mean norm optimization problem is the one that goes here on top. And specifically, the alphas and betas that we learn are combined with the model derived terms to construct our estimates V dot theta and BRB theta that are the ones used in the QP. We finally tried the bipedal robots stepping stones problem with this safety critical control framework with a model uncertainty that consists in having all masses and inertias of the links of the robot multiplied by a factor of two, giving the following result in which Rabbit, a five link walker, is able to stably walk in this terrain of stepping stones with one step preview. The nominal model based CBF CLF controller fails if we don't learn the model uncertainties. This is all. Thank you very much for your attention.